This is Tom Baum, Thomas Baum. What did you learn today, oh, if anything? Man, Paul, what a great question. I learned, I learned a tremendous amount. Um, I attended, I want to say, four or five sessions. Um, each session, I took some nuggets of information away. Uh, for example, uh, techniques in networking was, was very powerful for me. It gave a framework of, of how to initiate a great conversation, but not overpower it with just me, you know, and, and basically be succinct with what I'm saying. I learned about the uh, uh, how to um, get my name out uh, on the web with a Google search, you know, and, and present a positive brand for, for me and for my company. Uh, I learned, what did I, else did I learn? I learned about uh, uh, click, pay, uh, pay, pay for click, or click for pay, or whatever. Um, learned how to create a marketing campaign around that using Google. And so, I mean, I came away with this uh, great set of tools and, you know, expertise that I didn't have before in just a single day. So, for me, it was, it was very powerful. And how, how will you apply this in what you're doing? And tell us what it is you're doing. What's your passion right now? Okay, my, my passion actually is to apply technology for uh, social good. And my company is called The Homeless Coach. And essentially what I'm doing is I have a, a luxury RV that's equipped with live streaming media, um, specifically video, the GPS tracking, and interactive chat. And what we do is we enroll homeless individuals into a six-month program. We listen to their life story. We create a life plan for them. And we stream that to the internet and enable internet participants to help with the coaching process and connect with them, dynamically creating social networking profiles for them. And we also add uh, value to businesses, local businesses, Austin Original Restaurants, who donate meals to facilitate sharing of a meal with community members. And so I, I'm, I'm applying all of these new learnings to launching that company and making it successful. I read in the paper today they're trying to count the homeless in Austin. Did you read about that? Yes, and, and it depends on what your definition of homeless is, and uh, you know, and and that is a count in time, if you will. But I can give you an estimate that um, the homeless in Austin ranges from about 3,500 to 5,000, depending on your definition. And do you think uh, Austin is one of the most attractive cities for homeless people in the country? Right now, it is. A lot of homeless are being chased out of other cities um, and Austin is providing a you know significant number of, of services if you will. Um, my, my only issue with Austin is up to you know this point in time the services have been more of a kind of an entitlement uh, kind of service which says okay let's feed these folks let's let's uh, you know provide a shelter for them but it's not teaching them how to fish it's not teaching them how to take the gifts that they have to find a life that's fulfilling and shelter and that type of thing with a connected community. So it's not addressing the problem, it's it's addressing the symptoms. You know? So I'm trying to address the problem. So how many different initiatives for the homeless are going on in Austin right now? What are the major initiatives? The major initiatives are uh, permanent support of housing. Um, and so the, the, the main focus is house first and then address issues later. And what I'm trying to do is kind of almost the flip of that. It's connect um, the homeless with community, create relationships that fill a gap of broken family relationships, and then carry that into housing, meaningful work, food, etc.
Great. And uh, where do you have this RV? Do you have a, a location for it? Do you have some land or something that you're we, developing? We have it housed right now. It's parked at the Midtown RV uh, at 7th and uh, Airport in Austin. Okay. Um, we are in the process of doing an extreme makeover okay. on that RV. And we're inviting businesses, community members, etc., to participate in that extreme makeover. We're equipping it with all of the streaming media technology and artwork and you know wrapping it uh, with, with, uh, with the appropriate branding if you will um, and then we're going to have an unveiling event that is going to be a sort of a big uh, when will that be do you have a date for that yet? don't have an exact date yeah. uh, it's predicated on the uh, retail shop uh, the RV real retail shop that's finishing out the makeover okay. Okay. but we're targeting um, end of end, end of summer uh, early fall time Okay. Right now. And how how would people find you? Website, Twitter, Facebook. The website would be homelesscoach.org. Homelesscoach.org. And on Twitter, I'm on Twitter, but I'm I'm not active right now. I'm okay. waiting, you know, till we get to a point where it, it makes sense to start publicizing a little bit further. One more question: If a say a homeless guy wandered into this conference today, what would he have learned that would help him from today's conference? Well, Put yourself I mean, in the place of a homeless homeless person and, and you at, attended today's conference, what would you have learned? Well, um, I, I think I would have learned how to uh, market myself. You know, let's, let's, let's face it that you're a lost soul until you make yourself visible. And so this conference was all about techniques and tools to market and manage your brand, whether it be an individual or a product or a company. So for me, it's all about that. Great. Excellent. Thank you so much. You bet, Paul. All right.